Okay, working on our exhaust system right now. We're making a custom bracket in here right now, which we didn't show any of. So I put the exhaust in here and I wiggled it back and forth to find the sweet spot and slowly tighten the two bolts here and two in the back until the pipe sat where it wanted to sit at. And then we're making the bracket fit that location. So we got an aluminum bracket that we made that goes down in there. That's really hard to see. It's right there. Let's find it out. And we took away the one we had originally. There it is over there. So this is the original one. That's the new one. So 3 16th quarter inch, 3 quarter wide, 1 inch wide. This is a 66 one aluminum. This is steel. Aluminum will not break like steel does. And it's bigger and stronger anyway. And we've put a twist to it to make it fit the uneven heights of the two pipes up under there. Don't know if you can really see it, but they got a twist in them. And we filed the plate down to fit next to the exhaust better. We also re-weld the pipe up here where it wasn't really welded to the pipe. They did a nice weld on top of the bracket, but didn't weld it to the pipe. So we got three those two three-inch bolts we're using. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you gonna make that look pretty or leave it for later? I'll leave it for later. And you can paint it black later too then. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and bolt that up in there and see how it looks. Put the front hole in first and then we'll see how the other one goes. Now the bolt should come to the top going down. It's the preferred way of doing things. That way when the nut gets loose, the bolt still stays in there. So I'll close that line up to the hole. Not gonna go exactly there. Yeah, I'm gonna get the bracket in square. I think your bracket's wrong. Pull the bracket back out. I think it's in the wrong. I think you had it backwards. It's not lined up very well. See, it's, see how it's ground more here than here? And see how this one's ground pretty even? This is for the motor, because the motor's yeah. long and flat. The exhaust, we had an uneven weld in there. So you put it backwards, that's what was lining up. Because they lined up pretty good before. <laughs> Am I stuck in something in there? Do you, you want me to do it wrong? <laughs> it might look better this time. Plus, it was rocking around a lot too, so I know it wasn't flat. They give you so much room to get in there. Exactly. Now, where's our hole at? Now, see, now the hole lines up really nice. Look at that. Can you get the bolt from the top? You gotta go from the bottom. Get it. Get both bolts can come to the top like they should? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you putting a washer against the aluminum net at all or not? You should have washer on both sides. I only have one. Well, we might know where there's more. <laughs> Are the bolts long enough to put a washer? Or yeah. No, they're plenty of length. Okay, so maybe we get a couple more 3 8 washers. Let's see, 3 8 Probably these two here. Here's one. You always want to wash it because it spreads the load out on the part. And it takes the hit from the galling effect of the bolts and the lock washers instead of tearing up your brackets. So you always want to try to put washers wherever you can. Okay, washers in. So they give you so much room to work here. Tons and tons of room. Yeah. So 
this uh, thunder header we're putting on a bike. This is the bike that they come with on the back here. Looks like your lower holes lining up again over here. Yeah. Okay. All seem to go in there good and even. Yeah. You got access to get a socket under there or not from this side. I have to get it open open end. You can't do a socket all on it. Look that. Looks like there's enough room. Even on the reel? Yeah. You just gotta put the socket on there before you tighten it, that's all. It's tight in there, but it's, I think you can do it. Let's get my 3A socket. Or 3A, 916 socket. Go ahead and get a zip gun over there. Yeah, that's a, that's a, where's the socket at? There it is. Got a wrench? Nope. Can you get a box in there or we gotta do an open? Nope, I got it. Back one. Do the back one first. Got it on there? Mm -hmm. Shoot it. Yeah. Okay. She does run for it. Again. Okay, it ain't moving anywhere. See, the socket forces it to go over and be where we want to be because it had clearance on everything. So you can see it, it's, it's close, but it, it fits. Good. Now I'll go ahead and tighten the, uh, the nuts down. Do it equally. So give it a couple, a little bit on each one. Got a long extension gives you room to get in there. Because it's very tight normally. What we didn't do is put any oil on the nuts, which would have helped it torque a little better, but oh well. It's hard to get good help. They'll get upgraded shortly anyway. You know, test out my Nord washers. Yep. You have to put the universal on there, but I usually just use a wrench. Grab the uh, wrench over there. The box wrench. Yep, that one. They work pretty good. The other side. Nope. Never use stuff backwards like that. It never stays in. It always wants to come out. You always got to go the correct direction. Like that, see? It's close to a fender, but see, you got a skinny fender, so plenty of room. Okay, tighten yours up some more. Tighten it up. Yeah, that's probably good. You don't want to torque as much as they'll go, you just got to put a good squeeze on them. Run the bike for 5-10 miles and come back and do it again. Mm -hmm. And then do it again after it does a few heat cycles. Let things kind of center up and do what they're supposed to do. You don't have to crush everything to the last little bit will go. As these heat and contract and move around, they'll center up how they want to center and just torque the nuts to match up. And when it won't be under such a big bind and should live longer. Okay. All right, so I get the back bracket in there. So is our height going to work? Hopefully. 
Looks pretty close. I think so. How far off is it? Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, you stick a yeah. corner so you don't tighten that up. Yeah. No. Okay, put the bolt in there then. You need a shorter bolt or? Yeah, this is an incorrect bolt. Yeah. You want to put a correct bolt in there or just use what you got? Well, I'm going to change this out anyway. Yeah. In three weeks to a month. They make a heavy duty bracket that comes off of here that supports it correctly and not hanging off back there, which is not good. You want to bolt the exhaust system to the motor and the tranny because that's all bolted together and moves the unit and the frame. As it goes like this, that won't keep up with it moving up and down. It allows the pipe to vibrate a lot more too because there's no real support on the pipe from, from here to there. It's just flea flexing. If you put a hard bracket right here back to here, yeah, it makes it a lot stronger. And it pivots with the motor and tranny so there's no binding. Who made that bracket? Uh, that one was by Ramjet. Ramjet, man. Ramjet Racing. Oh, oh that's where uh, yeah. Ricky wants to go to. Exactly. So he can make it for you while he's over there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we have to wait that long. Yeah. Wasn't cheap though, but looks mm -hmm. like a good piece. We'll find out. If it makes these exhaust systems a little longer, it'll be worth it. Yeah. They break enough on their own. Okay, we got seven sixteenths for the top. Here's a wrench. There's one side. Here's the other side. Well, I need one. Oh. There's no nut on the back side? It's uh, threaded on the inside of the bracket. This bracket's threaded. Oh, it's a real long bracket. Mm -hmm. okay. I always like a nut. It's always best to have a through hole with a nut on the back side. That way the bolt can get loose, but it'll still be on there. Single sided like that, a single shear, it'll fall out. And they get loose and they fall out, you don't know they're loose. If you right. got a bolt and a nut on there with a lock nut, it'll, it'll get loose and rattle and let you right. know before it just falls off. That should tell. It's always stronger too. Plus you can torque it a lot more. All right. I'm always into torquing. Okay, these two are tight now? Yes. Okay. These be pretty solid. See, this is solid, 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 yeah. and back here it right. vibrates, which means it's bending right here. Or it's probably, it's actually probably bending way up here if you look at it. Yeah, you can see it bending right to here. That's not moving. Good and solid, you can hear it. All right, well, there you go. Make a good bracket and don't have to worry about it. How much can you get for this one? Not much? No. Piece of crap. <laughs> Here's the material you use. <laughs> a cola. Do you know what? Kaiser. American made shit. There you go. Alright, we're gonna work on the carburetor next. We'll be back.